Hey, Michael here. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a problem with mold in your bathroom? I'm going to show you some tips on how to keep mold from growing in your bathroom. Stay tuned. Singing in the rain, singing in the rain. Oh, what a wonderful. Oh, okay. The first thing we're going to talk about is an exhaust fan. All right, while you're showering, I know it's hot and steamy in that bathroom, but especially in the winter time, you know, all the fixtures and the mirror and everything is cold. So you're going to need to get as much steam out of the bathroom as possible so that they don't sweat and condensate and cause more problems around those fixtures. So we want to, we want to run an exhaust fan all the time, the entire time you're showering, plus up to 30 minutes after you shower. Now I know it's cold or it can be, if you're like me and you love a hot, steamy shower, running an exhaust fan is the worst thing you want to do. You want to keep that steam in. But I encourage you, let that be the first step to preventing mold in your bathroom is installing a really good exhaust fan and make sure that exhaust fan is actually exhausting to the outside. If it's in your attic, run it to the, the soffit vent or to the ridge vent. Or if it's in a downstairs bathroom, make sure it's running uh, all the exhaust to the outside and not to another living space, okay? So that's step one. Okay, step two for controlling moisture and preventing mold in your bathroom is to make sure that your faucets are not dripping, okay? If you've got a little tiny drip or something like that in your faucet, get this fixed immediately. It's amazing how much uh, evaporation happens from these things. And, and the more humidity in the bathroom, the more likely that humidity can cause secondary damage on your drywall and on your ceiling and cause mold. So get these things fixed as quickly as possible if you notice a leak. One other thing is if you notice your toilet leaking or running on a continuous basis, get that fixed as well. And try to check around the flange of the toilet if you see any water coming out from underneath the toilet or anything like that. Get that fixed as quickly as possible. Call a local plumber or go on some do-it-yourself websites to learn how to do that sort of thing. Okay, step three. Here's a real easy way to get water out of your bathroom quickly. What you want to do is even though you got the exhaust fan running and you got your plumbing fixed, if you don't get rid of the water that's condensated on the inside of your shower quickly, it could take forever for that water to move out of the exhaust fan. Say hello to the shower squeegee. This little guy is amazing. It's four to five dollars at the box store and you just use this thing and you squeegee the water off after you get done showering. And this pushes all the water down into the tub so you don't have to worry about all this evaporating. So we're pushing as much of this water down the drain as possible. So that's what this is all about. Be sure to get you a little four dollar squeegee and this is a great tool to use in your shower. It may take you a little while to get used to squeegeeing after every shower. Trust me, it's a habit that that took a little while for me to get used to but just make it a habit teach your kids to do it and and just it'll it'll save you a lot of problems and your exhaust fan actually won't have to run as long okay step four to getting more water out of the bathroom as quickly as possible to help prevent mold is the shower mat all right now if you've got a shower mat in your bathroom because you're concerned about falling or for whatever reason first of all the shower mat can grow mold so you got to get that shower mat dry. So let me show you a little trick I've learned on how to take care of a shower mat. And I want to show you also how much water gets stuck under the shower mat. So here we go. Take a look at this. Here's a basic shower mat made by Rubbermaid. Watch all this water that's stuck underneath that shower mat. Okay. So what you do is you just pull that water up and let that water drain. And then you can take it and kind of stick it to the side of the bathtub. Just like that. And it creates airflow underneath the shower mat. This way the shower mat doesn't get, uh, doesn't stay wet and moldy and it gets all that water that was under the shower mat down into the drain. Then take your squeegee and get the rest of the water down into the drain. Just like that. This is also going to help get rid of soap scum and different things like that so you don't have to clean the shower or the bath as often. So hopefully that's a good way to get more water out of the bathroom. Okay, now we're on step five. Now, this one probably isn't one that you're gonna do every day. If you're thinking about doing a small remodel in your bathroom or, or perhaps just repainting your bathroom, a good idea is to put a mold and mildew resistant uh, chemical in the paint. And what I like is a, is a product called M1. 
M1 is available at uh, probably Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, places like that. And it's an additive that you put inside the paint that actually helps mold or prevents mold, I should say, from growing on the paint. Remember, this is your secondary area. The more steam that you have in your bathroom, the wetter this paint is going to get and if this paint stays wet and it doesn't have a mildew resistant ability, then it's going to grow mold. So you want to make sure that you treat your paint with a mildew resistant product. So that way the paint itself will stand up against mold. So I hope that helps. Thanks again for watching. Still trying to figure out how to improve the air quality, overall health and efficiency of your home? Well, I got you covered. Click the link below to download my latest guide on how to make your home dry, clean, healthy, and efficient. We'll install a box fan. Am I saying box fan?